Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you so much for joining us here at the Premium Disc Golf Studios. We are bringing you the 2024 Legends of the Lake presented by Innova. This is a five round tournament. The guys are gonna be playing round one over at the Bijou Disc Golf Course in South Lake. We've got 27 holes, it's gonna be a shotgun start. But coming at you guys, it's myself, Spanky Edwards, and we've got a special guest in the booth today. We've got my boy, Dave Salazar. Howdy. First time in the booth, right, Dave? Sure thing. Yeah. Well, we're excited, man. Thanks for coming. Me too. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> hey, we got uh, Mike Sale uh, with a thousand three rating straight out of San Fran, heading it off. And then Guy Helms with a nine seventy four rating, cool shorts. <laughs> Alex Kalangi with a nine fifty nine rating. That guy's a stud. Zach Heights and Writer. With a 922 rating. I think it's Heights and a Raider, I believe. Anyways. It's written that way. It's written. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, so the guys are going to be starting on hole nine today. So a little confusing, but it, because it was a shotgun start, this is where they uh, yep, yep. They started their round. Looks like Alex is up first. Let's see what he does here. Hole nine's pretty much right down the gut. Oh, he's going for something different, a little, trying to get a flip. You can hear him begging to stay in bounds. He oh, got a nice kick off the fence. Yeah. Lovely fence built by somebody. I'd be, I'd be surprised <laughs> if, if that uh, left backhand shot is by design. He's probably trying to go up the middle. I think you're correct. That's there what it is. usually looks like. It's hysering hard, but it should be safe. I think he's going to be... Oh, that's good. I think he's all right. Close. He's all right, yeah. Yep. That Proctor shirt helped him out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Guy. I believe. First time seeing him, uh, personally anyway. He looks, uh, looks like he's going to go right... I uh, sawed it off just a little bit, Spank. Yeah, Guy's been on a, a handful of our lead cards this oh, year. Oh, has he? Okay, yeah, yeah, he's been doing a good job. Not diggity. And then Mike Sale. Stock right up the middle. It's not going to flare out as much as he wants it to, but I think he's going to have a, I don't know, 50 putter? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Anything across the ditch, you're probably jump putting or putting. I concur. Look at Oh. <sighs> Lucky to stay inbounds there. Those trees, that OB line is so close to those trees. So just to mention also, this is in the long. Ooh. Yeah. In the C position, yep. You know, you saw Alex was putting from that ditch, so anything across it is definitely a putt or a jump putt away. Yeah, you have. It's a lot better if you're there. Oh, that's a good bit for Zach. I don't know if he took his three meter there or one meter there. Yeah, sometimes you don't actually want to take it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guy coming up a little short. Alrighty. The whole one jitters. Just want to get it straight at the basket. Looks like Alex got his par there. Same with Zach. Guy's going to try to bounce back after this hole. Yeah, you don't want the bogey when you've stayed in bounds the whole time. You know, on hole nine, you're absolutely correct. But it... I'm, when you just leave yourself that par putt from just outside 33, it's like, ah, hole one, I'm already making a 35-footer. Yeah. Got hard. Well, let's see what he gets. If he gets it back here. Yeah, hole 10, uh, 420 feet. Get through. All right. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Got to get through that gap. I think these guys are playing down to the, down to the right. So I think he was looking for a little more turnover there. So oh. that splits that gap. It's on a really great angle to shoot all the way down there. That tree is the bane of many disc golfers' existence here. Bijou. Four. Yeah, he's Four. looking for a little more, maybe a little more flip up yep, yep. out of that one. I do think the backhand turnover is the, the better way to park the hole, but there's nothing wrong with the forehand if you have the power. Yep. You just have to be able to kind of smoke one all the way down there. You can see the basket hiding down there in the trees now. Yeah. And once you get off to this right side, it, the scramble gets a lot harder. Staying in the middle, just to stock forehand around the corner to get to it. Yeah, I have to say also the T is 
or the shot off the tee is a little difficult, you know, right off the bat. It's it, not a straight shot off the tee, no. and it's a small gap to hit. Absolutely. All right, we got Alex here from, you can see hole 11 there. It's going to be the next hole. So he went just two straight. You ha heard him asking for some turn off, the, off of his drive. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, though. No. Long bid. Yeah, Mike actually got way down there for a drive that he didn't like very much. He still had a putt, you know. I guess that's the caliber of these lead cards we get to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't you and me, buddy. <laughs> True that. All right, guys, taking an, another bogey there. I think he's going to bounce back, though. It's early in the round. We have, like you said, 27 holes here. Yeah. Not have, 18, 27. We have hardly started. Yeah. <laughs> this is why it's called the Legends. Uh, we got hole 11, guys. 256 feet. Definitely. The, this is going to be the shortest pin position on the hole. Plays really close to the OB line. It's on the left side. Um, it's mostly going to be just a putter backhand right at it. Something high and floaty, so you just got a tiny bit of left drift, but not, try not to mess with the OB line over there. All right. Anything overstable, it's likely to drift over that fence. Let's see what Mike's got here. I like the height on that one. Yeah, just come in soft. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say that's pretty perfect. Yeah. Long, but perfect. Flip. Oh, see, and then that's the one that just skirts stay. towards that OB line. Yeah. He's going to be okay there. Yeah, even a, a, a pretty close birdie look, honestly. Yeah. Oh. Alex, just a tiny bit low. Yep, hitting that cage. Zach, a little low as well. Okay, let's get him up, boys. So, yeah, he's actually in a good position. Right. There it is. Look at that. Bogey, bogey, birdie, we're back. A yep. little confidence putt. Taking the helm. Melms is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Okay, here we go. So what do we got? Two birdies, two pars coming up. This is oh, that that one's definitely you. You're feeling like you missed out on one if you don't get the bird. Uh, I believe you're right. It's a uh, it's one of those. It's tricky, but it's not. It's, it's definitely doable. It has not to tricky be. enough. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hole twelve. We got four thirty four. These guys are playing straight across the meadow into that grouping of trees on the backside. Oh, he's a little to the right there. He's going to have a low window, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> he's going to have branches, but he could take a knee and get a decent putt, hopefully. And there is that, like, one perfect spot where if you land in that exact spot, it's wide open. But if you're a foot short of if it or a foot not, long yeah. of it, then it's obstructed. That guy just kind of let go early on that one. Alex, can he get the turn out of it? Oh, yeah, it's drifting. Look at this. It's a beautiful shot. Wow. All right, he's going to be short left. Let's see what he has there. There's some low-hanging branches there that sometimes obstruct your putt. Let's see what happens. Yeah, sometimes uh, just in the way where you can't even hyzer around them. If this comes back, this might be pretty decent. Oh, he's a little further away than I thought. Yeah, he... Oh, the, he hyzered out. He, yeah, he yeah. hyzered out there, yep. He's going to have an Annie putt or a straddle from where he was. Here goes Alex. Over the branch. He's going over the branch, gets the birdie. <laughs> Beautiful. Must be nice to be that tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know, Spank. <laughs> Zach's going to straddle this guy out and go a little bit deep. And I'll tell you what, man, you're, it's not easy from back there. It gets very low. Yeah. Almost a guarantee to have to take a knee. Mike's going to wish he had that one back. Mm -hmm. he, I think he was in that little one-foot window of wide open. Oh, he went around the right side of the trees. How about that? Okay, he can do, he's got this. There it is. There you go, Zach. Branches. Yeah, like I said, a guaranteed knee. Yeah. From, yep. from only 10 feet away, and it's a guaranteed knee. Yeah, you don't want to go long here. No. Yeah. Guy's going to take another bogue. Uh huh. That birdie felt good for a second, but all right, he's he's in a good spirits there. Yep. 
All right, it looks like Alex is up here after his birdie on 12. This is a really cool, unique shot. It's only 270 feet, and you can see the gap, but from the tee pad, it's not just a like, like aggressive turnover. It's a slowly drifting, just oh. like that, but if it misses, if it gets six inches more to the right, it's perfect. Yeah, I feel like you have to keep it a little bit at chest height to get a nice penetrating sure. drive off of this one. That's oh. gonna be really wide. You know, it looks like he came back. It's hard to tell from here. You know, clearly you're seeing our lead, our, you know, the whole card go in the same line, but there is a couple different ways to attack it. I think that's just the most obvious in front of you one, so I've, most people go for it. I've definitely seen a lot of different throws on this particular pin placement. There's a forehand out over the meadow that gets close, over the top. There's a backhand over the right side. So, Look at this. Oh, oh. That's a beautiful upshot. Looks nice like touch. Look at the beautiful background and I know. on this hole. It's a beautiful meadow out here at Bijou Park. Sometimes you just have to take a second to uh, respect the beauty and enjoy it. And then miss your putt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for guys like me, usually. I'm busy staring at the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Air ball. Would you look at that? All right, looks like Zach... Punches in his par. He's playing clean right now. Yeah, just all pars. Yep. It's like we say, just parring along. I mean, so far you've really only missed one gimme birdie at that point. If you've gotten all pars, you kind of only won off of like the pace. I agree. Obviously, they want to get all of them, but there's That's only true. one gimme that they did that he didn't get. So. Yeah. So hole 14 is 265. It's in this little keyhole pocket that you can either go around with a big hyzer like this if you can get it he doesn't that time the person that i just go straight at it with something that flies as straight as possible there's a yeah. four you're gonna see the forehand from alex out here just break well, it's that viable, looks wide. It, it has to come in though yeah that was a little too wide mm -hmm. Looking like everyone's left with a slightly long putt. Mm, he was liking that. Looks like guy's gonna settle for a uh, par on this guy. Oh, Alex just get some chains. Just didn't quite stick. Oh, another low one. I feel like this is something you want to get, a hole you want to get. I think it was birdied about right around 50% of the field. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not know that. Wow. And uh, no bogeys. So, yeah. Wow. Like I said, it's a short shot, but it's in this little keyhole, like I said. Yeah, it's coming in right, ar right around like a 2.5. So, I think you definitely want to get that. Upper in. And Zach's been close a lot. He's he's had just a couple short putts, like low putts. Yeah, a couple of the, that have hit the cage. Let's see what Mike's got for us here on hole 15. Par 3, 268, up the hill slightly. And he's going to drift long right. Not a bad spot. Yeah, th for this pin position, it's kind of actually like letting something drift from left to right, just like this. Letting something drift from left to right, because you can't really throw a hyzer to it. Mm -hmm. You're going to hit that tree really close to the tee pad if you try to throw a hyzer at it. So you're trying to drift something. Well, you see right. that stump he hit. It's a stump. That, oh, see, he hit it too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there is obviously also a forehand play, uh, which is a totally viable option. But I do think that majority of players, well, backhand players are going to prefer that. It's so short. Yeah. I saw another player on coverage oh, <clears throat> don't roll, don't roll. Ooh, that's on some coverage. Dylan Quintana actually hit this live in a, a premium, disc premium disc golf league night. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. He gets a lot of aces. <sighs> that guy. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, guy. Guy Melms with... Uh, Another birdie. He's looking to erase those three bogeys. He's uh, doing a pretty good job of it so far. 
He goes, nice to come back because he finally made the adjustment. He hit high, then he rolled away. <laughs> he's, right, he's all over it. He's right there. He went low, 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 high. He's got in the middle of it now. Hopefully he can dial that in. Still a lot of golf left to play. Yep. So these, And this is early. These guys teed off at like 8 a.m. Wow. So, okay, yeah. Because they got to go over to Zephyr <clears throat> after this. So, you know, they, they're, they're just getting warmed up, really, you know. It's hard to warm up at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> You're still drinking your coffee, getting out of bed, you know. Anyway, hole 16, 444. And I think this is playing on the new, uh, the, the new, like, pyramid, like, elevated basket. That's oh, yeah. kind of brand new this year. Shout out to Keith Lucas for the vision for this hole. Oh, it's just installed. Oh, oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> That's how you draw it up. Oh, my goodness. This is a fun shot, Spanky, i got to tell you. It's oh, one of my favorites on the course. I love it. When you get it right, it's so good. That thought through pretty good. Got through it all. I think he's going to be better than he thinks. He did give us a double thumbs up there, so he didn't hate it. <laughs> Alex going to drift left on this. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to come down in the fairway. He's going to have about a 60-footer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Easy par from there. Oh, he was a little more obstructed than I thought there, Spank. Yeah. It's a little frustrating over there because you feel like he got away with one and then you didn't. Yeah. Okay. Wow, guy's finding that putt now. I mean, he's taking advantage. He hit that bush, you know, where... You don't know if you're going to... It's, it's pretty long. You're not sure if you can make it or not, but uh, with the eleva elevated basket. But he seemed to uh, drop it right on in. Mike making it look really easy. All right. So was that two pars and two birds? It's probably a pretty good average there. So hole 17 right up the gut. Par three, 370 feet. He was trying for a flex forehand through this left-hand gap. I, I think. don't. I don't think he was trying to go up the gap. <laughs> no, no, the, the gap. Yeah, yeah the I'm left kidding. Hand gap. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Nope. Well, the better of the two kicks. Yes. As you can see, he's out in the open now, so he can actually have a look at the basket from there. Looks like Zach's going trying to go up the middle. He, Fades or, yeah, just pushes a little right. Alex needs this to come back. Some heavy turn. He got a little ground play there. That's incredible. <laughs> that is a really nice shot from back there. It's called scramble golf there, Spank. If you don't like scrambling, you don't like golfing. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Nice jump up. Let's see what... Oh, oh he hits that, caught last, that last one. Oh. So these guys are enjoying the view as well. I know they're yeah. playing golf, but it's one of the... <laughs> again, another... They're taking in the views. <laughs> oh. Guy's finding his, uh, his stroke here as of late. Yeah, like I said, I think it's just early, early start, 8 a.m. It's hard to knock off the cobwebs, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's really all about waking up, and, you know, they probably had to get up a little bit earlier to practice just a little before the round, I'm sure. But, uh, like I said, shaking off the cobwebs, just waking up, getting the sleep out of their eyes. Here we go, boys. All right. So that's going to do it for our, technically our front nine, even though we're finishing on hole 17. But being a shotgun start, um, two down through nine. Where where do you think they're at? Are they happy with that? Do they wish they were better, a little better than that? I mean, the O was wisher, a little bit better than that. But uh, but on that I stretch of holes, I think that's going to be okay. You know, I think honestly, you want three or four on that. Okay. As you know, these guys have are obviously higher caliber disc golfers. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a two is great for me and you. Or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Either way. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We're going to be right back with the middle nine, starting over on 18. Um, yeah, please come check us out, and thanks for uh, watching the first round. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>